Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to Follow a Sketch Friday. Today is Friday, October 23rd. I am super excited because I am also playing along with Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life for her 30 days of sketches. This is today's sketch. It is a sketch with lots of squares. Now, I thought what I would do was just grab a whole bunch of blue and green paper and punch my little heart out with the squares. So, let's see what I can do. Now this layout comes together really quickly, you guys, and I could have kept going and I could have added more, but ultimately I decided that I wasn't going to add more. Now, confession, I looked at the sketch, I decided to use the sketch, do the sketch, and had an idea in my head, and then I did not look at the sketch ever again. So I do have variations going on here. I won't say I totally went completely rogue. Uh, you can definitely see where I came from for the sketch, uh, but I did not reference it. So I love this diagonal striped paper. Uh, right here, so I decided to map my two photos on it. Now that is one thing I've already deviated from the sketch. I do have two photos and I am going to overlap them so that they are not one big block of rectangle. And you know, that is fine. You got to do what works for you. I decide that I want to pop up the photo of my daughter actually in the bobsled and I go ahead and do that with some fun foam. So now I've got these beautiful photos on top of a white background. So I just decide that I'm going to cut down a couple of the squares because my punch only goes up to an inch and a half. And this is what I'm checking to make sure how large my punch is. So since it goes up to an inch and a half, I decide I don't need my trimmer anymore. I only want it to have a couple two inch squares. Everything else is going to be smaller than that. I felt like I really needed the two inch squares around my photographs to kind of weight them down. Because I was afraid that I was going to end up with all these floaty bits of squares and there would not be any kind of grounding element on the page. Now I do decide to go ahead and just pop all of my squares through my punches. As you can see, I am not being super careful with my punches. Sometimes I'm not getting an exact square. Sometimes I'm, you know, trimming it off. I don't care, guys. It's like I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried that my squares are not perfect. I'm not worried about that whatsoever. Now, if you were going to be measuring and making sure that everything was completely square all over your page and that was the look you were going for, then by all means, you're gonna to wanna to be super careful when you're punching, super careful when you're cutting. I just don't have time for that. My philosophy is liking it and done is better than perfect, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's what I go for. Um, now those papers that I all had out are all of my scraps, so you guys can see the actual size of my scraps. Um, I don't keep small scraps, they stress me out, having those teeny tiny pieces throughout my craft room just, oh, just puts a level of stress on me that I don't want to have with my scrapbooking. I want my scrapbooking to be fun. I want it to make me feel good and I love playing with paper. So I'm doing everything in my power not to make anything stressful about it because if it's stressful, I'm not gonna wanna go in there. The only thing I don't or can't, I guess, keep straight is I end up making messes while I'm scrapbooking, guys. Like, I'm not putting everything away properly after I do a page. I mean, right now, my trimmers are cockeyed across each other. Um, so, yeah. So, I do have to clean up. Cleaning up kind of ruins my mojo. But, you know what? It's one of those things. If you're going to have the fun, you got to pay the price of cleaning up, right? I mean, because I, I don't have somebody. I can't pay somebody to clean up my stuff. Then I was thinking about this. Like, I was legitimately thinking about this while I was straightening up before I started this layout. Would I want someone else to come in and put my stuff away? Like, I don't have a problem with people touching my stuff. Um, I Like, if you come to my, to my room and you just want to look through and touch everything and um, 
flip through everything I own, I'm like more than happy to let you do that. That doesn't bother me at all because touching my stuff makes me happy. So I'm assuming other people would like to touch my stuff and it'll make them happy as well. But will they put it away the way I want? Will they organize the way I want? A lot of my stuff is put away by the way it makes me feel, especially die cuts. They're not like manufacturer or color or theme or anything like that. They're, they're like a, they're a feeling that is evoked in me that I really can't describe to anyone else. So no, how about we pay someone to clean the rest of the house and then I just worry about the scrapbook room. That's going to work for me. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, um, I was putting down the squares on the paper. Um, I am overlapping some of them. Some of them are not being overlapped. And I just decided to do one square to be going off the edge of the page. And I just decided that because I didn't want everything to be super contained in this white 12 by 12 square. Um, a lot of the times I'm trying to contain my layout, so I mat it on cardstock or I do my um, kind of like messy doodly border around the edge. But on this time, I kind of want it to go out. Like I don't want it to be confined to the square. I want you to think that these beautiful blocks of greens and blues could be just going out forever. And I might know that that might sound insane, to some of you and that's okay it can sound insane to some of you you don't have to dig it um, I dig it though and it works for me now I am in love with the colors on this layout I love me some blue and greens um, now we've got like more blue more green all the colors and I am loving how it's looking now I do have just one of the squares popped up on foam um, the other ones can be back in the background. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. I did think about outlining all the squares, uh, and I think that that would be a great look, but not for this layout. I really like the way that this layout makes me feel. I really like the fact that I have no black on it. Um, usually I bring in black for a contrast when I'm working. These aren't really monochromatic but um, when I'm kind of working like within a single color scheme like this, I like to bring in a little pop of black. Um, but I really felt like this time I didn't need to do that. I'm loving the way that this layout looks. I'm loving the way that this layout makes me feel. The colors are singing to my soul. Um, they like remind me of the photo on the left, like the Matterhorn photo. Like it's just it's just screaming. Matterhorn to me, even though there's really no Disney notion at all on this page. There will be, because this is Lana's birthday trip, so there will be a hidden Mickey added to this page um, before I complete the albums. Um, that's going to happen on every single page, a little hidden Mickey somewhere. Um, and it's not going to be a black hidden Mickey either. I'm, go I'm going to... I'm going to change it up um, and kind of keep with the color scheme that I've got going on on this page. So I went ahead and used the date as the large part of my title, which is 2019. And then I have these teeny tiny tile stickers from Jilly Bean Soup um, to just spell out bobsled. So my title is now bobsled 2019. And that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for joining me. And make sure you check out everyone who is participating in Christie's 30 Days of Sketches this month. Um, Follow Sketch Friday will continue on past um, the 30 Days of Sketches. Follow Sketch Friday has been going on for a while now. I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.